Hey you guys, Luckfuck here, and welcome to another FIFA 20 Ultimate Scream player review. And today, guys, I'm reviewing the 86 rated AC Milan defender Romagnoli. Um, so far, guys, I'm absolutely loving the Scream promo. I think it's been absolutely fantastic. I love what EA are doing with it. Uh, you know, giving us like, little packs and stuff like that every single day. It is pretty awesome. And uh, with this Romagnoli card, I was able to pick him up at 421,000 coins. And in the four games that I played him with, he didn't score me any goals or get me any assists. And he's also got a free stoic thoughts as well as two star skill moves. Moving along. Going to his game stats, his main standout stats are going to be his 90 defensive awareness, his 88 stand tackle, his 84 sprint speed, and finally his 99 short passing. And I did also have the backbone chemistry star applied to this Ron McNally card. And um, you know, as I said yesterday when I did the uh, William Carvalho review, which by the way I recommend you watch the review. In my opinion, he is not he's, he's just as good as 86 Patrick Vieira okay I'm saying that right now so I definitely give a, a recommend to go and watch that review but for me some of these scream cards are first of all they've had fantastic boosts um, some of them are a little bit too expensive for example I think Deli Ali is a bit too expensive Thomas Muller Bernard um, don't get me wrong the great cards but I think they're a little bit too expensive but cards like William Carvalho Ron McNally are very very good value don't get me wrong they're still expensive but you know you're getting good value for your coins in my opinion and um, and I absolutely love this Ron McNally card I think he's a fantastic card to use in game for me his first pro is going to be his tackling fantastic Fantastic all-round defensive stats, 90 defensive awareness, 88 stand tackle, um, 83 stand tackle, and so that backbone chem style puts his defensive awareness up to 99. It takes his stand tackle to 98. His slat tackle as well goes to 93, which is fantastic, and he bailed me out on a few occasions. Absolutely fantastic. I had so much confidence in going into tackles with him. Don't get me wrong, I did also, uh, I did also have him paired up with uh, Icon Marcel Desailly, who's my favourite defender so far in FIFA 20. But Ron McNally, in like, some stats, is just as good as Desailly. Is he as good as Desailly in game? Not quite. Price, but he's not a million miles off a Marcel Desailly card and obviously is a lot cheaper than him as well um, but yeah you know you, you know you'll see pretty much actually I think all of his clips are tackling um, and like a bit of strength and stuff like that as well but hey that's fine you know he was doing his main job which is obviously what you want him to do from a centre back position so I couldn't fault that the second part as well is also going to be his pace overall 81 pace with 77 acceleration and 84 sprint speed he can keep up with the majority of attackers which is obviously very good as well and he's got that really good tackling stats and strength stats as well to be able to regain possession as well which is obviously very good so tackling pace fantastic and his final pro as well will be his strength obviously at the height of six foot two that's very very good for a center back he's got that good pace he's also got that good strength so when he's able to catch up to defense he's got that 82 strength which goes up to 87 strength with that backbone cam style to you know muscle players off the ball or he's got his fantastic tackling stats so you have a mixture of things that you can do with Ron McNally which is obviously very good and 87 aggression as well is obviously very nice 73 stamina is not the greatest in the world but it's not too bad you, you, you um you can work with that it's something that I personally wouldn't once as I go further on in the game cycle it's like team of the year and past that I think by that point having a car with 73 stamina wouldn't be the best but at this stage of FIFA I think he's fantastic he's also got 99 short passing and 99 long passing um, his short passing was going to be able to pass out from the you know dangerous situation so when, I, when he'd regain position he'd be able to make the initial little passes just to get the ball out of danger long passing I tried to use but most of the time he'd hit the pass too long I think that was just my fault putting too much power onto the pass but um, no on the whole very very good card couldn't fault him I think for around 125 thousand coins which is his current settled price on xbox i think he's a hundred percent worth that i think especially if you've got a syria team there's not well there are to be fair quite a few good center backs in the syria but you know obviously cooler barley giolini is obviously not so good in pace and such but um for a special card overall i think he's fantastic i think he's got a, a long cycle in, in terms of being uh you know how usable he's going to be i think he's going to be usable for quite some time certainly up to around christmas time um and maybe a little bit longer than that but um yeah on the whole good cards and i think if you're you know if you think Thinking of buying him, I, I'd give him a go. I thought, I thought he was, um, uh, you know, he, he did impress me quite a bit. But anyway, guys, that is going to finish up this play. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.